Today, Britain's House of Commons approved a revolutionary procedure for creating babies from the DNA of three parents. The technique could protect children from inherited diseases, and Mark Phillips is looking into it. Jessica Newell is 13 months old and has mitochondrial disease, a condition that keeps the cells in her body from developing the energy they need. Her parents, Vicky and Keith, know Jessica's life will be difficult and short. So she struggles with swallowing. Um, she struggles with her muscle tone as well. So as you can see, she's very floppy. Yeah. She, she can't really hold her own head up. It's a severely life-limiting disorder, maybe toddler years or something like that. So we don't know. Yet while there may be no known cure for Jessica, there is a potential cure for the condition that caused her illness. In mothers whose eggs have a healthy nucleus surrounded by defective mitochondria, the little batteries that power cells, that nucleus is transferred to a donor egg with healthy mitochondria and which has had its nucleus removed. The hybrid egg is fertilized with the father's sperm, and the resulting embryo then has genetic coding from three parents, the mother, the egg donor, and the father. The eyes to the right, 382. Britain is the first country to sanction the technique. So the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Approving it in a parliamentary vote, but in a heated debate with loaded language about playing God and designer babies. They are very different. Once the genie is out of the bottle, once these procedures that we are being asked to authorise today go ahead, there will be no going back for society. And if this was genetically modified crops, we'd be all up in arms. That's what's happening here. For the many families affected, this is light at the end of a very dark tunnel. Yeah. The DNA of the egg donor would not affect the appearance of the child, eye or hair color, for example, but it would be passed on to future generations. The church here, Protestant and Catholic, has opposed the new procedure on ethical and religious grounds, but science won the argument. And Scott, the first child born here using the new technique, could happen in the next two or three years. Mark Phillips reporting for us tonight from London. Mark, thanks.